Hey everybody, welcome to Trial Lodge Gaming. We are here with Madden 25 Mutt Journey Episode 15. You don't see a webcam, guys, and I gotta be honest, it's because the game time stuff dropped. I wanted to get straight into it, but for some reason, my lights are updating. They have updates they do, and without them on, my green screen doesn't work correctly, and so I just decided no webcam to do the intro and do these quick packs so I can get the game time welcome player and then you get the two one coin offers done and then I can go do these challenges and I'll be back with a webcam I promise so obviously this I, this this art this whole they are nailing this year's card introduction card art's pretty good Christian Wilkins 85 uh these just sell for 25 coins right cool we'll take that um yeah so Christian Wilkins will have to make the team definitely guys and uh we need two uh game time players into the squad i it's unfortunate it's another promo that has so many different teams and i'm happy about it but we are missing a cardinal player and so when we come over here and think about what we could add cardinal wise it's it's nothing so i actually think comparing andrew villains with wilkins he's slower same as l but wilkins has better strength tackle play rec block shedding Worst power move by one, but better finesse move by tw uh, 12. Wilkins is going to come in here, shift everyone down, and load in Agata. Who was our other D tackle? We have Andrew Billings. I feel like I'm missing someone. Was it just Roy Lopez who was in here before? I think it might have been. Yeah, Mean Joe Green, John Jenkins. Andrew Billing to Loading Nagata, and then the next D tackle I see is Roy Lopez. So it probably was just him. We're not going to sell or get rid of him because obviously he's a Cardinal player. Um, but yeah, let's see if that takes us up. It doesn't do an 85. That's cool. Let's go to uh, over here and change Andrew Billings to Christian Wilkins. Or it was a John Jenkins. I see an 80 John Jenkins there. I think. That's who we took out of that position. Or not? I know a way to remedy this. Let's go to D-Tackle. It says we have nine of them. John Jenkins, 83. Okay, I thought it said eight. Oh, it's because I was looking at the other screen. So this John Jenkins can only quick sell for training. Uh, that's fine though. We'll take a hundred day training cause he's not really needed. And cause both uh, got uh, and Billings are better than him. But yeah, our D tackles got an upgrade for the main team at least. And so we need one more game time player. We do have this game time B and D player. Uh, kind of sucks we can't get a Cardinal but hopefully we get someone we can actually kind of use. 80 Michael Carter the second. Um, let's also open the 70 plus OVR player pack while I'm here. These will be our two packs, guys. Obviously, we open for now. Oh, Michael Penix. Cool. And I'll be back, guys, with the webcam with more stuff to open and, uh, you know, the match for the episode, guys. But next up, you'll see my face suddenly return. Here is my webcam back active. We are not fully done with some of the objectives. We are close though. We have like 125 points left to score. And for the game time one, I think it's just, yeah, like challenges, which we can't do all of them. And one of them's bugged uh, game time player sets and stuff. So, you know, little stuff like that. Um. I'm actually really excited. This promo looks so good. Uh, and we have so many packs to open. Let's start off with the daily coin pack and the strategy pack, guys. Get that open. 5,000. Okay. And why I'm opening and selling this, I do want to talk about something. Looking at Tony Jefferson the second, right? He is such a good player with 87 speed. He's a good, strong safety. And literally, I think, has the highest power since the, uh, I think so? Since uh, the Cam Chancellor that we have. And so at this point, I am thinking, oh, this is 10,000 quick sell. If we get a chance, and I'm not ever going to overpay for him. Like, 
overly. But I see him, I've seen him bounce around between a mil, ten, um, one, like 1.1 mil and 1.5 mil. And if we can get him for that range, I think I, oh. Okay, so the next, okay, so coach, uh, strategy, coach, and then strategy, right? And then another coach, that's how we go. We're lining up perfectly. I do think if I get the chance to get Tony Jefferson, uh, he has such a stark improvement over uh, Buddha Baker. Buddha Baker, I said Baker. Buddha Baker, that I think it's worth it. Now, here's a funny thing, guys. Um, Joseph Asai, he's just gonna go into sets. I do have only two out of the four Trich packs you can get from watching over today. I don't know where the other two will show up, but when they do, we will get them. Um, I made sure I got, like I made sure I have all four locked in, but um, yeah. Bodrick Martin, Lions Cam. I hope there's a D tackle release that gets old team cams at some point. Because I will need it. Actually, let me double check. Let me go to Trich really quick Why I am talking to you. And let me double check. Let me double check. It's a, it's four, right? Yeah, basic drop packs. Watch for two hours. I did that. Well, I'll go back through and just see somehow, but yeah. Uh, we only got two of them here, so we'll open these. I'll go back through and maybe they're just delayed, but just double case. Uh, I've heard like rarely anyone out of these packs so far, just from the initial onset, that next to nobody has gotten elite. So if you get an elite, you're like super lucky. Um, but speaking of the new promo, and there we go, what's that done? When it comes down to it, guys, um, there is no Cardinal players in the game time promo, which sucks. It does suck. But because there is no card for it, I have to think about the main team, and I want a tight end. Now, the limited Duke is the best tight end, but he's also like a mil, like 1.3 mil. Not, I'm not going to pay that. Um... So the next one would be Brock Bowers from the Game Time promo. And I feel like we kind of should build him. I have to build a couple sets anyway. So if I get the chance to build up to him, I will build him. Just kind of going through this and nothing. Well, I think we got a 77 there at the end. That's actually not bad. But yeah, for the Game Time promo, I think our focus is to get the tight end uh, I, I've been thinking about the theme team, but I do need to think about when new promos come out. If we can build up to someone for the main team, we might as well do it uh, at the same time because we need to com uh, greatly improve both teams. Yeah, we did get a 77. That's actually pretty nice. Okay. Um, oh, God. What do we need to build? I think we need to build team of the week set still. So I think I'll throw that in there. And that's actually done. That completes the team of the week set. Okay. That's big. So we'll have a couple more um, packs open up here, guys, before we hop into the game. I'm trying to get these episodes out back to back to back, like, really quick so we can burn through solo season stuff. So, like, you know. Because nobody really... It's not that competitive, I know, but I want to have it on the wheel because if... Just, like I've said last episode, if I'm just losing every match... Uh, against actual people. It's not a confidence booster. And, you know, I want to make sure I have at least some confidence going into this. Um, man, we just keep completing every single set, don't we? Okay. And what's funny about all of this stuff is uh, Patrick McCarry. We saw him. Uh, I'm literally recording this after the uh, Chiefs-Ravens uh, game. So... Yeah, throw this in the team of the week. Get that going a bit more. But yeah, no, uh, insane game. Insane ending. Oh, I clicked the team of the week pack. That's right. Yeah, we had to make a hero and a champion team of the week pack. So it really doesn't matter who we take out of this. They're just going to turn around and be thrown into sets. Um, 
Oh, okay, we can go then. They came, but no, I need to do this. Let's go in the 80. That gets the 80 done. That's nice. Okay, let's get to 76, 77. This can probably just go around into one of these sets right away. Cameron Johnston. Okay. Uh, yeah, just throw that in the team of the week. Boom, that starts that out fresh and new. All right, then we actually have an 80 team of the week. We need to build up to a hero or champion. I don't know how close we are. Let's just grab the Mac Jones. It's always nice to throw him in as fodder. And I think the Hero Fantasy Pack is where we're filming. Oh, we're actually getting done with the Hero Fantasy Pack. Let's go. So that should complete. Yeah, that does. Got a Team of the Week token and, of course, the 83 Hero Fantasy Pack. Um, let's grab this. We do need to build up a champion. Um... Eric Gray, Mike Abraham. We'll just grab Abraham since he's a Colt from my brother. Uh, my brother loves the Colts. Um, we need to build a champ for the Team of the Week set. Left in Greg Rousseau, no. Chance Campbell. Middle linebacker. That's actually pretty interesting. And Tristan Jackson, right receiver. Okay, so let's throw him into Chance Campbell, I guess. We will do it this way. Boom. All right. So it's nice that we got the team of the week hero set done. Now we have 280 plus and 382 plus BND or 80. Overall, I'm gonna open the 80 pluses to see what we get. We do need to complete three sets. So I kind of want to see what these pluses are. God, that promo is so cool. AJ Dillon, definitely not gonna help us. Oh, these are B and D. That sucks. I didn't realize they were B and D. They are, oh my God, they're horrible. Um, Yeah, I don't, there's no regular 80s that help us. So I guess we get a couple training out of it. Man, that's horrible. They need to better the rewards. Like the 82 plus here is interesting or the 80 for sets. It's like, do I think because there's limited and stuff right now, we take the risk on the 82 pluses and maybe we get someone for the main team. Um, you know. Onkoronko, okay. Are you has a right end? I guess he can come be a depth right end. So okay, he makes the squad. Okay, two more. I, I'm hoping the plus goes up a little bit and we get someone really big. Uh, we'll just do the 82 pluses. If we, we need to sell them, we'll uh, sell them for training. But you know, man. Sean Elliott, strong safety, 84 OVR. Um, he's not better than Cam, but he is better than Buddha, so he can come in as backup strong safety, I guess. That is cool. And then the last one, 82 plus. Let's see if we can't get something bigger. Um, unlikely, but you know, it would be cool. It'd be cool. Okay, come on, something big. There's something in my eye. Uh, 82 Ray Ray McLeod. He is definitely not even gonna remotely make the squad, so that's 68 training. Ride receiver is one of more jacked spots, so he's not gonna help. I have to say, that is actually kind of disappointing. So for the main team, um, we had this Michael Carter in here temporarily as a B and D, um, but because we're going to bring someone else in, we'll just bring in Troy Vincent. The fifth CB never comes in, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, Buddha Baker will be replaced by Sean Elliott as backup. That's just an improvement overall. 
And then it was right in getting an improvement in depth. So yeah, I mean depth improvement, but you never know on packages if another strong safety or something shows up. Those aren't bad, and I think I need to change rush right end to this. And then safety's fine. I don't want him coming in over Divine Diablo anyone. So we're good there. I am gonna get rid of that other game time cornerback. This one I got him from, you know, the daily pack. He's not needed. That's 20 extras training, guys. Uh, I mean, at least we got an 84. And this Christian Wilkins, I so was hoping he would get some sort of cam boost. You know, he gets Ripper. It's cool. You know, he gets cams. Um... But yeah, no, it's just, it's, it's a little disappointing that like, I feel like we've been screwed with the no chems the second season and I'm not truly liking it at all, guys. But the only thing left to do is go into solo seasons with the main team and play a rookie match that we are. Remember we this one, we spin the winner's reel and hopefully we get something interesting. Um, yeah. Return middle. Now, for my challenges left, it's really just score points. Um, so we're just going to go and try to score on every instance that we can. Like, if we can just return this quick. Bam. Oh, wait. We also need to win games. I think we're on six or five. I'll have to check that afterwards. But that's pretty good. We moved to 382. We could get another pack or some coins or something when we reach, uh, we need, what, 18 more points after this extra, yeah. So 18 more points to hit 400 total points scored. That's not bad. You know what? So, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm somewhat excited to see what will come of, like, the series as it progresses throughout as i improve and everything but for now it's 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 slow going and i want to try to get episodes out as frankly as i've been especially on solo season so we can burn through them quickly oh it's a run i actually thought he was keeping that can you get up and yes you can no 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 get off damn i was trying i was hoping to return that for some quick points get a fumble I mean, we're really just going out here to try to score points. This should be an easy dub. Um, and right now, all I'm worrying about is points. There we go. That's another seven. So we moved to 389. So we're 11 points away. Um, after this extra point, obviously. So I'm happy with this. I do try to want to, after this episode, I'm done filming. I'm going to burn through and finish the rest of the points and the rest of the games played and all that. I haven't done any of the game time lineup shuffle because I'm really not liking the restrictions on building stuff. Like, I'm not a big fan of that, so I don't think I'll do that. And it, I think there's no reward, but I don't think it's that good. I'll have to double check. Oh, I'm on Cooper DeGene. I guess I overshot it. Okay. Well... Ah, oh, they recovered. Damn, another freaking fumble. You can't jump on it. That's rough. That's rough. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Another fumble. Oh, they recover again. Come on. you got to be kidding me, man. If only fumbles were a part of this challenge. Anytime there's like, oh, get this number of sacks. I always struggle with sacks. Um, anytime it's like get this number of interceptions, I get so many sacks, so many fumbles, I struggle with interceptions. Like this one, the 10 interceptions took forever compared to the other ones. Uh, fumbles seem to take forever unless you go and play on an easy mode, which just do solo battles on the easiest difficulty. No, oh, this time we actually pick it up. Oh, I stepped out of bounds. That sucks. All right, that happens. But yeah, ultimately, it's one of those things, guys, that 
Um, it just always seems like it's more difficult when you're trying to aim for something. Oh, I, I guess let's just throw that to Chris Johnson. Oh, C CJ2K did not dodge. I don't know. People said he was super agile and good. I know we needed him for the theme team. He doesn't feel... I know they nerfed the juke and stuff. It does feel like it's like not worth the money. So for the main team, if we can build that Marshawn Lynch, I'm half tempted to give him a try. But we got another seven points. That brings us to 396. So only four more points. And uh, so one more TD pretty much will get us over that 400 hump. And then the next rewards at 450. And then 500 completes the entire thing. Gives us the last reward. Um, I don't think... I think we can... By completing that, I think we can get up to the um, the epic pack, like the choosing pack. But I don't think I can get to the next 81 player. Which, honestly, I've been thinking about it. Until they get all chems, I may need to think about like what team, what players I may need to upgrade first for the main team. Because if they don't get all chems and they don't make that change... I can't do a thing about it. Oh, I this is right open. I shouldn't have gone old blitz, but you know it's fine. As I go old blitz again, no, nah, we'll 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 just go cover one. This is a run, anyways. And it is not. It is okay. But yeah, no, it's one of those things where it's like, the more I'm thinking about the theme team, it's like, okay, I can try to go get the best players, and if they're new and would help the main team and be a starter, yes. I also just need to try to get the best players out there for the theme team. But if from now on, seasonal players are not going to have old cams, we, we as a theme team are screwed so royally. Unless the Cardinals play great and they get theme, uh, Team of the Week cards or getting promo cards. And I know they'll have some legends and stuff. But, um, no, I missed. All right, fumble. Oh, I went out of bounds. Crap. Man, I called it too. Um, but thinking about the theme team, yeah, the Cardinals have had a lot of players throughout history. They've also had a lot of great players who played for other teams that just came to them for a season or two. You know, and so, or wrapped up the career with them like J.J. Watt did. And so the Cardinals aren't in the worst position for some of those promos. But when it comes to Team of the Week or the Game Time promo, like the Game Time promo had a lot of teams. And hopefully the next wave of it contains a Cardinal. I hope a defensive tackle. That is one of my biggest concerns is the line. It really is. Okay, I tried to click the intercept and my character did nothing. But it's like, mm, how do I say this, guys? It's just, it feels like the Cardinals was a rough team to get. And I I just have to see how they play. It's Thankfully, I can see all the games. I, you know, red zone, I can see all scores and everything. But it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to be watching the Cardinals and I'm going to be hoping every week, except when they play the Seahawks, that someone picks up and hopefully it's a position that, you know, we could use. Like, hopefully, I mean, Marvin Harrison Jr. could be good. But like, maybe we see a return to form um, for, you know, like Buda Baker gets a couple of cars and, you know, even though most feared is so long away and I shouldn't be thinking about most feared, maybe Buda Baker somehow gets a most feared or you know you know it's just one of those things the more i look at the cardinals i am so worried about certain parts on defense now if they do go they change the course and give all the season two um players any team cams um that changes like everything because our weakest position is right outside linebacker and D-tackle. Uh, and, you know, if we can get a right outside linebacker there, if we can get a, another good corner, 
if we can get you know those improved spots um the theme team will be better i do worry about um um i do quite worry about the line the d line because yeah you know there's the jj watt there's obviously the uh season one Oh God, I'm just gonna run. Okay, we're just gonna go out of bounds here. I had fumble flashbacks from that one game. I'm so used to running with quarterbacks with Truss active at the start of the game or stuff like that. Like playing the end of game and trying to, you know, because I usually only play during the end of the game cycles, it's screwing with me playing this one because I keep thinking, Oh, I have trust. I have trust. I don't have trust. He can fumble. And it, it's like in my head that a lot of the time I run with the QB and it's like, oh, I got this. I got this. No, you don't. You dumbass. You can fumble. And, you know, this is a part of this is mental. This is me not really taking the time to improve at the game against, you know, playing against people online. And uh, it also doesn't help that the theme team. The main team I think would do okay. The biggest issue with the theme team is I can't get pressure to the QB. Like, that's the biggest flaw. Out of the three games we played, the third one I hyper threw and did not care. Second one, we were getting our ass kicked because we got no pressure onto him. The first game we did well, but that's because our corners just had great games and the D line didn't pressure them. That, and when there's no pressure, it's it screws you up. Oh, I actually thought he was jumping in front of that and nothing. No animation, really. And I tried to hit intercept. I mean, he did tackle, but he didn't even try to swipe, uh, you know, swap, try to swipe at the ball, which is weird. Oh. Boom. Feels good. So that actually gets us to 410. Wow. Well, if I make the extra point, if I miss this, uh, I have to correct my little note I'm keeping. But, you know, looking at the teams and what we can improve. Like, if I actually go to Mutt.gg and look at the improvements, Tony Jefferson, that limited, is the biggest one. The next biggest one is getting Miles Garrett uh, right in. You know, which would be an upgrade. Oh my god, we actually just straight up taking it again. Who the hell just scored? Is that Gardecki? It is Gardecki. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, that brings us to 417. Pending I don't miss this extra point. But yeah, outside of that, I could get 87 Orarie by doing ranked, but by the time we get him, I think he's just going to be outclassed by everyone else. Although he would probably be better than the Terry and Arnold we have. So, you know, that is true. Um, for wide receiver, we can always improve our depth by getting that Cooper Cup from team builders. Um, but it's like, after that, JJ Watt is in a position where we already have one unless we take the tokens off the left end and give them to another player from um, season one, which is a possibility and JJ Watt can just be the starter. We have that season of boom, BJ Ojolari. We have the Buddha Baker, that's the 83 Buddha Baker. We have obviously the, uh, the Puka Nakua. Um, that rookie premier one. We have the Zay Jones uh, season of boom. We have the Rondale Moore team builders. I guess we can try to get that left in Belial Collins. Um, if we take, if we try, if we get JJ Watt at left end, and we take the tokens off, um, how am I forgetting his name right now? How am I actually forgetting his name? Max Crosby. I can't believe I was forgetting Max Crosby's name. But if I take the tokens off him and throw it onto somebody else, I don't know who I would yet. But if I take it off him, we can get Bilal Collins, or Bilal's Nichols, Bilal Collins, oh my god, Bilal Nichols as backup left in, you know, whatever there, 
Um, but then after that, it's like, okay, Season of Boom, Kevin Beach, and we have him. The Tyran Matthew, that doesn't get cams, but he's pretty much a Cardinal player in the past. And no, he doesn't get cams, we'll count him, and he's an 83 free safety. You know, that is the best free safety we can get right now. The next one would just be an 82 version of the same player they scored. That's fine. Yeah, talking here. Uh, we can try to get the Indy one, DeAndre Hopkins with 78 speed at right receiver, but that's just a depth piece. There's the left outside linebacker, Hassan Reddick, who is... Ah, oh, I didn't look at you. You know, that's there, but after that, you know, who do we move to? We already have Heinz Ward Max, we have Ray Lewis Max. Do we take the Max Crosby stuff and put on McCaffrey? We really don't need McCaffrey Max because we have CJ2K. It's like, do we throw it on all stop? You know, I don't really know about that. I mean, it's an option, I guess. You know, but then, yeah, left in, uh, left end, going back to left end, the next would be Blaise Campbell, which we just wouldn't need. Uh, after that, left out signbacker, uh, Campbell, Devondre Campbell. Uh, Christian Kirk, 80 speed riders. It's just like at this point, the, the amount of players we can get to improve the squad is low. Oh, shoot, he dropped it. Okay, well, no extra points there. But yeah, guys, not like I don't want to get negative about it, but I do need to make decisions about players and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things where taking the coins off of Max Crosby. You know, like, here's my thing, though. And maybe I made a dumb decision. If I get, let me go over this thought before. Oh, we're option pack. We actually got enough to get that. We'll go open that pack. One more win next episode. We can be done with this. Spin the season, uh, the uh, schedule wheel to decide what our next little schedule is. Let's open this rare op op options pack. And then I want to go over what I'm talking about, right? So 76 Boom or bust. We're gonna we're gonna risk it all on it, cause why not? We still have the winner's wheel spin. Trust me, but you know, let's see. Oh, it's an elite. It's Cooper Cup. We can get it going game time, cause we don't need that Cooper Cup. Hey, we got an actual lead out of that. A seventy-six plus. Actually, the plus was not silent for once. Color me surprised. So here's my thinking, right? And uh, it, it, this depends the next time, and you guys can let me know, because we haven't spun the winner, uh, winner's wheel yet, I want you to know that me asking you guys your opinion here, if I do get it, I might do this anyways. So here's my thought process. For the theme team, right, we see it here. This is the theme team. If, 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 we decide that, okay, we can go try and get the, like let's say we get access to the auction house. Right? What if I take this JJ Watt, get rid of him, we get the 85 JJ Watt. We put him here. We get Blind Nichols here as backup. Okay, then the Max Crosby tokens would have to be taken off. Because I'm only using players in second positions if they get the second position, which uh, neither of them do. The 85 Max Crosby does not get second position, neither does JJ Watt. But okay, where do I put the Max Crosby tokens? Do I put them on McCaffrey? If I max out McCaffrey, do I sell CJ2K because we just got him? And then do I use that coin from CJ2K to go pick up that strong safety limited to improve that? That's one option I could do, you know? Then we can slowly also try to build up to get the uh, right end, you know, from, uh, what is it? Uh, Miles Garrett, right end which is the next best option there. And yeah, so that that's my thought process is get the 85 JJ Watt, put him here. I think Max Crosby's better, but we could save coin if we put Belay Nichols here, JJ Watt, the 85 here, move Max Crosby coins over to Christian McCaffrey, let Christian McCaffrey take the running spot, take vintage champion CJ2K, sell him and use those coins to get strong safety Tony Jefferson the second, and then we can slowly build up to get, see, I don't know how much better he would be, but the Cooper Cup from the team builders. Like if I compare him, let me actually like look at these players, right? 
he's what 83 speed so he'd replace say jones he is an 85 but like if he's slower then maybe we don't get him and we kind of move past it just because these guys are faster and i mean maybe he just replaces say jones but like I don't know, guys. It's a thought process. We do have to spin the winner's wheel. Let me know what you think about this craziness I'm conjuring in my head. So I feel like that might be the best thing because the difference between CJ2K and Christian McCaffrey I don't think is that big anymore with the nerf to the juke move. Because Christian McCaffrey, I feel like, can run over people a little bit easier than CJ2K. But let's go spin that wheel. Um, of course, it won't load up. Let me boom there we go gonna give it a spin and let's see what happens Thirty minutes auction now okay this is tough guys i'm not gonna make you sit through this if i have 30 minutes of auction house i think i'm gonna go do it the 30 minutes starts as soon as i buy someone guys uh for now i think that i am actually gonna go through my strat and get rid of CJ2K, go, you know, pick up players and see kind of how this goes. I have 999K. Can I get the money to get that Tony Jefferson? Is there even one available? You know, I since I haven't actually gone to buy anyone yet, I can look. Uh, if we go like... Actually, is there any other Tonys right now? There's one. He's 1.2 mil interesting okay and what if we go and check the jj watt maybe i should just type in watt there's no oh wait there is so the 85 is only 140k that's actually pretty cheap it feels like Because, see, he doesn't get any extra chems. He is slower, but I feel like buying him. You know what, guys? I'm going to go figure this out right now, and next time the team might look completely different. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, tag out. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members. Urza and Scott, you're amazing. If you guys want to check out Patreon and join it to get a shout-out at the end, check Patreon down in the link in the description below. And you can, also like Scott did, Make me re-record this. Don't